Understand the sacrifices. Surviving a PhD requires you to understand the sacrifices you need to make beyond the time investment. Surviving a PhD means being comfortable delaying adult life for a few years to perform research in a university or research institution. We all know that a PhD can take up to 7 plus years. If you are in a country requiring a coursework component to be completed before starting your research. Still, you make other sacrifices including not earning money, delaying starting adult life and opportunity costs that may stop you from pursuing other more interesting pathways because you are focused on your PhD. Money. A PhD does not look too bad in terms of payment to an undergraduate student. After all, you are being paid to go to university now, but there is a secret cost that many don't consider. I remember thinking that it was great to be paid to study. However, the amount of money a PhD graduate gets from a scholarship covers living expenses and only a very small amount of savings. If you consider doing a PhD from a purely financial perspective that you will earn more money in the future, it is a silly decision. Not only do, not only do PhDs not earn significantly more money than master's graduates, but you may also be gaining interest on your undergraduate student loan putting you behind even quicker. By pursuing a PhD, you are also delaying saving significant amounts of money you could earn in a job. This money may not matter much for, for the 4 or 5 years of your PhD research. But the compounding effect you are missing out the compounding effect you are missing out of in such an early stage of your career may significantly impact the accumulated compounded interest you earn later in life. A PhD impacts every aspect of your financial life from saving for retirement to investing for the future. It doesn't matter much when you are younger, you likely have no family children or independence and all of the money you get goes to living and and the odd luxury however when you graduate feel the biological clock ticking and want to start a family or buy a house it will be much harder for you as you won't have laid the financial foundations like all of your friends the same age what can you do about it? Look for ways to increase your income for your PhD. It is becoming increasingly common to find industry sponsored PhD scholarship. I know one person who did an industry sponsored PhD position with a battery company. During his PhD, he received $40,000 more than the PhD students around them and had a pathway to earn to an industry job that valued his research afterwards. No doubt he was the envy, envy of many PhD students during my time at the university. Finding a PhD with an industry top up for the scholarship is worth the extra hassle and effort due to the reduction in financial burden during your PhD and the prospects of entering a job after graduation. There may also be many other scholarships that you can apply for. You can get better idea of the ones you are eligible for by speaking to your office of graduate research before starting your PhD. Delaying adulthood a PhD is undertaken 
at a time during your life when you will have to delay participating in adult life for a little bit longer. For most people, a PhD starts in the early to mid-twenties, just when your friends have graduated from their undergraduate degree and are starting to earn enough money to do the adult things in life. I know many graduates and academics who have waited to have children and buy houses and delayed these things until they were in a much more stable financial position at a university. Unfortunately, biology also plays a huge role in determining how easy it is to have children, making it much harder to conceive if you wait until your mid or late thirties. The financial aspects of PhD as discussed before also make it very difficult for someone to purchase a house and start their adult life. I was never really interested in any of these things and therefore doing a PhD and delaying these things did not bother me at all. Just be prepared to meet up with your high school or undergraduate friends and feel like you are being left behind. No one will quite understand your desire to do a PhD and wonder why you continue studying at, an, at a university. Opportunity Costs The last sacrifice you make by doing a PhD is missing out on other opportunities while focusing on your PhD. A PhD is necessarily isolating and an introverted activity. Many hours sitting in at your computer analyzing the data or researching the lab or field mean that you are not exposed to the opportunities that fate and life throw you your way. Many people believe that being happy and successful in life means taking risks and following opportunities as soon as they pop up. Whether starting a business with friends or having that chance encounter with an influ influential person, a PhD stops you from committing to opportunities fully. There are always opportunities and quirks of chance interaction after a PhD. The great thing about them happening when you are younger is that you can fail, learn and move on much easier towards the next opportunity without feeling pressured to succeed. After finishing my PhD, I was employed for 13 months as an explosives chemist and then returned to academia for another 10 years before leaving academia altogether and seeking other opportunities. I have started multiple business and have settled on a mix of entrepreneurial endeavors, endeavors that keep me interested and motivated. I always wonder if I would have ended up on this path should I have not done a PhD. However, I sincerely believe that skills I learned and the experience I gained in, a, in project management, writing, communication, presentation, commitment and long term goal setting mean that I have been better positioned for the entrepreneurial lifestyle. It also it has also provided a lot of credibility to my endeavors too. Everyone's career path is different and a PhD can certainly be very valuable to your future career no matter what you choose to do. However, it is important to understand the sacrifices a PhD requires. There are a ton of dis disgruntled mid-30 PhD graduates who have not been able to make a career pivot as well as others. You are now so much more informed about the realities of doing a PhD than most new PhD students. If this has not put you off pursuing a PhD, it is time to get into the nitty gritty. Now let's take a look at the most important decisions for your PhD. The first, choosing the right topic for your PhD.